John Lester will do the pitching in game three of the series. EK, what do you got? Well, guys, for a starting pitcher, ERA in the low ones, he's having a fantastic season. We'll look to see if he can continue that here in this one. Alcides Escobar heads for the box, ready to lead this one off today. Shortstop, Alcides Escobar. And the first pitch of the afternoon misses for ball one, and that's how things get underway here at Wrigley. EK, one of your old ball clubs, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. And it's been a good series for them so far here, too. They've been able to take the first two games, and now they're set up in good shape to make it a clean sweep. Soler is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. With that, here are Ned Yost's Kansas City Royals in this one. Thoughts, EK? Anyone stand out? Well, guys, Sal Perez is definitely a guy to watch right now. He's been driving in runs nearly every chance he gets lately. Recorded more than 10 RBIs in his last 10 ball games. Lester has his target. Here comes the first pitch. And that's taken for strike one. A very fine afternoon for baseball. 67 degrees here at first pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. Outside for a ball. One and one. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Well Matt with Ross behind the plate hitters know they need to expand the strike zone. A little bit. He likes to ring it up when it's on the black or even a little off of it. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two. With a moment now let's take a look at the Cubs alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric. Well Matty Anthony Rizzo is really the centerpiece for this Cubs ball club. Offensively we know what he does but defensively he really holds this infield together very fluid over at first base good soft hands and has a good throwing nope. arm as well. Kendry's Morales is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh. And now a sharply hit ball toward the right side as this gets foul past the coaching box. From the windup the one one pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And we'll see him work both sides of the plate with the curveball going forward. Or maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around. Just getting things underway here at Wrigley. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. KC down in order. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Edinson Volquez, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, E.K.? Well, Matty, he's having a very nice season so far. He's got an ERA in the low threes. Now, hopefully he can continue that here in this one. Give his ball club a chance to win. Well, there you see Dexter Fowler as he'll be the one to commence the action in the bottom half Leading of the first. Center fielder, Dexter Fowler. Ball one. These Royals Eric Caros entering play here this afternoon. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. And that includes losses in the first two games of this series. So they just need to have something positive go their way. Salvaging the finale might just be the thing. One one pitch and a good sinker there but he can't find the zone two and one. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now but he can still work the count and that alone can be beneficial to an offense. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate and easy take there and it's three and one now. You don't want to lose the leadoff hitter here but not when you got this guy on deck. Strike two called and it's full three and two. A little bit of hang time there to that curveball. I don't think that's exactly where he's going to want to throw that pitch going forward. It worked out right there. 
but he better find a little extra snap on that pitch in the future. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. Jason Hayward will stand in now. 0 for 4 in that day game yesterday. Well, guys, he's really been scuffling lately. Hitting under 250 over his last 10 games. So he's going to be looking to turn this thing around sometime soon. He's running towards second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Ball's on the money, and Fowler is gone at second base. Well, he did a good job to get on base with the leadoff single, but then he got a little greedy here on the first pitch, and they throw him out pretty easily at second base. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. You have to figure that sinker is going to be an important pitch for him here this afternoon. No question about it. Obviously, it's his ground ball pitch, so if you're a hitter, you're going to need to make him bring that pitch up a bit. One out, nobody on. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. To short. Escobar fields it cleanly. Throw gets him, two down. And a chance now from the north side of Chicago to check out the Cubs' starting lineup. Steve, what do they need to do to complete the sweep? Well, Matt, this team has elite speed, so all you have to do is keep the ball on the ground, focus on hitting line drives, and play small ball. Anthony Rizzo will stand in now, and obviously one to be careful with, as you see there, currently leading the senior circuit in long balls. And, guys, he's blasted four home runs in his last ten games to go along with everything else that he's done. So he's got that power stroke working right now. Bases are empty here with two men out. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Cubs are down quietly. We've played an inning. No score. Lorenzo Kane will stand in for the first for the time Royals. now, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark Lorenzo to begin play. Kane. And how about that? He's got the second best batting average on this ball club, so he's having a really nice year for them so far. Lester gets the sign. Here he comes, 0 and 1. Nope. Here's That's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. Ball no inside. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. In the air, down the left field line and deep. After it is Soler. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting fifth. So with one away, time for a check of the standings now in the National League Central as you see where the Cubs find themselves entering play here today. Alex Gordon will stand in, and he wasn't much of a factor yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the loss. Well, that was a rough one yesterday, but he's still hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. The 2015 regular season was a tough one for Alex Gordon due to those injuries. But he came back strong to contribute in the playoffs to help the Royals bring that World Series championship home. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, tough to start a game much better than this. He's run through these first five guys pretty easily. This is already his third strike out of the ball game. Looks like he's in it for the long haul here. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. No score here as we play inning number two. 
Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Left side. Bryant's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing nothing. Ben Zobrist will stand in hoping he can be the same kind of run producer he was yesterday when he drove in three of his guys' four eventual runs. Well, you look for a guy to produce? He's got nine RBIs in his last ten games, and he had another good one yesterday as well. Down the first baseline, but uh, this will get foul for strike two. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Grounded to the right. Throw over by Infante, and that's out number one. Now that we have a chance, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for Kansas City. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what's the word? Well, guys, you got to love having Alex Gordon in the outfield. And remember, he's a converted third baseman. It absolutely flies, gets a great jump, and really leaves it all out there, out in the outfield. He's won four gold gloves in a row, 2011 through 2014. He's as good as it gets. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Nice. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Jorge Soler will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. So tough to hang in there on that pitch, but you got to do it. You can't give up that inside corner, or this guy will eat you alive. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Wrigley for the start of the third as we get a nice look at downtown from high above Lakeshore Drive. Mike Mustakis will stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. In there, 0 and 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Lester's ready. Here's the 1-1. One, one. one and two now as that one's fouled off. The one and two pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit sharply on the ground. Bryant is up with it. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. And as we showed you in the open, he's out there putting his perfect record on the line. And so far, these guys haven't shown many signs that they're ready to put a one in that loss column. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh, 
tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. And right here, you've got the right fielder shading just a bit towards the alley. And I thought he'd have too far to go to get this ball, but he does close quickly out there, and he makes the play near the line. Edinson Volquez will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And there's ball two now. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with the fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Miguel Montero will dig in now and he's got to be wondering when his bat's going to make the trip north from spring training as he has really struggled in the early going. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Now a flare out toward right center. Coming in on it is Kane. He can't get there as it falls in. Batting eight, the shortstop. Addison, Addison Russell will Russell. come forward now. Back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. Eight. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Nobody out, runner on first. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's through for a hit. Good start to the inning here is back to back singles have him in a good position to push across that first run of the afternoon. Coming to the plate now, John Lester. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Oh, and it's so important to take advantage of these kind of opportunities early in a ball game. It can change the entire complexion of the game if you can put the other guys on their heels right away. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Now Lester squares and gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Oh, man, what a terrific play right there. That ball was rolling, and it stayed low, so he had to bend all the way over to make a barehanded grab, then a quick release, a nice throw to first in time to get the runner. You can expect to see that on highlight reels for a couple days at least now. Here's Dexter Fowler now as he'll go after the first pitch and send a ground ball down to third. A play at the plate. A tag from Perez. He's out at the plate, but he gets back in time safe at second base. That runner at third, he's going on contact there. That's got to be the only way to explain it. It's one thing if this ball's hit up the middle, but when you hit it right at a corner infielder, you got to figure he's coming home with it. They get him easy. Here's Jason Hayward now as he's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. Tap foul at home plate. Bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score. To short hit hard. Oh, a terrible bounce, and it goes right by him. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. And he is in there. 
Anthony Rizzo comes forward looking to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Yeah, and you know one man who'd love for him to come through big time right here is his pitcher. We'll see if he can get it done. Looking to minimize the damage here. And that's in there for a strike. Oh, that is a nice pitch right there. You kind of slow it down and give him that big breaking ball to start off the at-bat. Make sure he's not a guy that's looking to ambush that first pitch fastball. Right over the top that with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Sometimes guys can get keyed up in big spots like this, and that's where that curveball can be a real effective pitch. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Runners at second and third with two gone. He struck him out, and it could have been worse. The inning over with only a run coming across to score. Only one in the inning for the Cubs. Three innings complete. The Cubbies are in front, one to nothing. Alcides Escobar will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. You know, looking back at Escobar's production in the 2015 ALCS, it's a pretty good reason he was named MVP count of that series. He hit a blistering 478. That's called carrying a ball club. Lester into his motion. Here's the one two. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start. To same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away and the way this guy's pitching you can bet these guys are thinking thank goodness he's over in the other league I, I'd hate to face him three or four times a year once is way too much standing in now Paulo Orlando as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Man, and not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Kendry's Morales stands in as he looks at ball one here. 1 and 0 pitch on the way. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1 and 1. And he'll step off and try again. 1 and 1, here it comes. And he'll fall behind now to 1 and 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Oh, and he whiffs on it as it's by him at first. Well, he needed a hit like this. Got to get him to snap out of this cold streak. I mean, you're just looking for something to go your way. And that ball, it's not hit particularly well, but it happens to find a hole. He's saying, man, it's about time. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Ball one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Royals. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Strike three, three called, and the inning is over. One left for Kansas City. They trail this one, one to nothing. 
Ben Zobrist is set to lead us off Leading in the up, home half the of the fourth inning. Second baseman, Ben Zobrist. Into the windup and the pitch. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. This guy has been amazing. He's thrown a first pitch strike to around 80% of the batters he faced. And we're in the middle innings now, so you know he's doing well. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Yeah, and on two and one right now, you got to figure this guy's wound up for the fastball here. Maybe you come with the breaking ball here out of the zone and hope he goes after it. And a good pitch there as he got him to go after one in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. The batter. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. Chris Bryant will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing and one. Slow curveball like a balloon and he couldn't hold back at strike two. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. That's still on his mind. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. That misses says the home plate umpire one and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Not too sure how you take that one on 0-2. Yeah, not too sure how you call it a ball either. A swing, and it's popped in the air back behind first. Morales backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now we'll check out that 1-2 pitch again and show Marty. motion. This show pitch man. is up around the letters, and you'll see that back elbow drop down a bit and kind of drag through the zone. That's what causes him to pop it up. First pitch on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Two out, nobody on. In there, one and one. And we've seen a lot of that pitch here in the first four innings, and it's been real effective for him, and that's another example right there. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Still no fastballs in the at bat. It's been all off speed. Uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. We'll see Alex Gordon to start things out when we come back. It's the Cubs one and the Royals nothing. And there is Alex Gordon. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Alex Gordon. Curveball looked at here for strike one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. A look at our line score here through the first four. And as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Salvador Perez stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, one pitch on its way. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Bounced weakly near the plate. Montero has it in time to first, and there are two away. Yeah, and you know, that's a nice play back there behind the plate. For a big guy, look how quickly he springs to his feet. 
gets rid of that mask, and then he finds the ball here to make the throw to first to get his man. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis, now in the seats, 0-1. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Royals. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Chop foul right at home plate. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Another foul ball and this battle will continue. Protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. KC down in order. They still trail one nothing. Miguel Montero comes to the plate as we get started here in the Leading bottom of the, the fifth. Catcher, Miguel Montero. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Addison Russell strides in after getting a base hit and later scoring the first time around. Volquez into the windup. Here's the first pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first on his way to second now. And he'll pull in there with a one out double. And the way their starters throwing, another run here, that might be all they need. He's in the scoring position now with a double. Into the box, John Lester. And he'll try to get that runner to third, but this one gets fouled. One out and a runner on second base. And the runner's breaking for third. On attempt misses. The throw down. It's on the money to Mustakis, and he is out trying to steal third. Now the 0-2 pitch. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Nothing happening there for the Cubbies. They lead it one to nothing. Omar Infante will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. And I think that's putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings. They're going to need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit. But that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him, and that's for sure. The 0-1. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. The, the, the first thing a pitcher six. does when he walks out of the tunnel here at Wrigley, he'll take a look at those flags and, and see which way they are blowing. I mean, this place, it can play like two totally separate ballparks from one day to the next. Edinson Volquez is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. A little bouncer. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Well, this is one of those situations where his guys got him the lead early on, and he's been in complete control ever since. I mean, he's barely been threatened out there. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Alcides Escobar is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. 
you got to think about bringing that one right back. And he falls behind 0 and 2. And that last pitch was number 74 for Lester in this one. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Royals go down 1 2 3. It remains 1 0. Dexter Fowler will get settled in here as the Cubs look to get it going in their half of the sixth. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started. Set the table for a little bit of a rally. And that's in there for strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. And if there's one thing base dealers don't like, it's when you throw at their legs. Now that's their meal ticket you're messing with. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Fowler is retired, and there's one away. And he's been able to get out when he needs him with that curveball, and there you see what his pitch breakdown has been so far. Jason Hayward will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Drilled right back up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one-out single. Well, he's been a little slow out of the blocks here to start the season, but that looks a little better there as this is a sharp base hit. Anthony Rizzo stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Very weakly on the ground. And they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. That's a very alert play right here behind the plate. Take a look at how quickly he gets out of the crowds and then pounces all over this ball. And now he's thinking second all the way, and he winds up getting that lead runner. Here's Ben Zobris now. That's a swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. And it looks like Joaquin Soria is going to start to loosen up in the Kansas City bullpen. Volquez sets. Here's the 0-1. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. In the two outs, this was an excellent spot to try to take second base. The worst case scenario is if you get thrown out, you allow a good hitter to come back and lead off the next inning. Now, you give that same good hitter an opportunity to drive you in with just a base hit. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Infante's there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for the Cubs, but they're up one to nothing. Welcome back here to the historic, friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Getting set for the seventh now with the Cubs out in front. And before the inning gets underway, let's get a look at our game summary to this point. Paulo Orlando will stand in here to start the seventh. EK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Yeah, neither starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired just yet. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. Under it is Rizzo. One away. Now Kendry's Morales Kendry. will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. I doubt he wanted to get in quite so tight with the hard stuff there, but... Hey, this is a guy with good opposite field power, so you don't want to just give him free reign to lean out over the plate. And here's a ball hit in the air. 
And this will be taken in without much trouble. It's an easy start to the seventh. Two gone. Lorenzo Kane will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this hey. offense is just getting shut down right now. And we've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Fowler. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he'll round it and try for third. And he's going to make it to third safely. And there's your tying run at third now with two away. Well, it's not a game-tying home run, but it's the next best thing. As down by one, he makes it all the way to third here with a triple. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon. And that misses ball one. The one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Three and oh now. Green light here on three and oh. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. It's my number seven hitter. Probably not. And he'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. Now here's a little tapper down that third base line, and this could be a tough play. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Sliced hard on the ground. Taken in by Zobrist. And they'll escape danger here after the two-out triple as the inning is over. No damage done after the two-out triple. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Chris Bryant steps into the box as the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the seventh. Third baseman, Chris Bryant. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0-1. It appears we've seen a lot of indecisive feeling at bats so far here today. And I think a lot of that comes from the way he's mixing his pitches. We've seen off-speed stuff and fastball counts, and we've seen him bust a fastball in when guys are sitting back. Seems like they've just been guessing wrong all afternoon. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. He's come at him with all off speed stuff so far. But if I'm at the plate, if I'm hitting, I'm thinking he's going to have to throw a fastball here sooner or later. Full count now. Three and two. All right. Now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away. So as a hitter, you're going to eliminate that pitch. No way does he throw it a third time. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Kane comes on now, and he has it one down. Jorge Soler will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Yeah, and hopefully he got that out of his system. They really need him to come through right here. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. Think you'll see another one of those before this at-bat's through? <laughs> After that swing, I think you can just about take that to the bank. 0-1 pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. 0-2. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Yeah, he, he got a little revenge there. He struck out twice before that. And now he gets him back with a solid base hit. So a runner at first now with one away. And stepping in now is the catcher, Miguel Montero. First pitch of the at-bat. And that misses for ball one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Two sinkers down in the zone. No surprise what they're after here. Yeah, and this guy's no dummy at the plate. He knows exactly what they're trying to do. It's not like he just fell off the turnip truck. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. Gordon going back. Turning to look is Gordon, but not to worry. This one is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, and the Cubs have taken a 3-0 lead.
Well, you know it has a tendency to get overlooked here. That two-out single that kept this inning alive. I mean, you, you take nothing away from the guy that just hit the home run, but this is what happens when teams put up a fight there with two away. Pays off for him big time here. Now here comes Kansas City manager Ned Yost making that slow walk to the mound. And that's going to do it here for Edinson Volquez. Danny Duffy will get the ball looking to get the final out now here in this seventh inning. Here's Addison Russell. Now batting. Shortstop. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. He can't hold on there as he swings and misses on a pitch in the dirt, and he's down 0 and 2 now. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here 1 and 2. Well, you know, when you're behind an account like this, it's all about changing your approach at the plate. You got to shorten up a little bit and just look to put the ball in play. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two-run home run. We're through seven this afternoon. It's 3-0 Chicago. Leading off the inning, Salvador Perez. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, it's a close ball game, but it's starting to get late. So they need to get at least one back here in this inning. Under this one is Soler, and he'll handle it for the first down. Yeah, he just keeps rolling right along. Shut out intact as you get a look at his line so far through seven and a third innings now they have just not been able to mount any type of offense against him at all. Mike Moustakis comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Oh and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Boy that's almost like taking an overhand right from the champ right there. He couldn't even think about pulling the trigger that time. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, two are gone to start the eighth inning. Omar Infante will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing in one. Now the 0 1. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. Up high, 2 and 1 now. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Back goes Fowler, still ranging back. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. KC down in order. Still down 3 0. John Lester will buy himself another at bat, and in turn, he'll get himself a nice little ovation for the work he's turned in on the mound so far. Well, he's been great. And this is an appreciative crowd. They like what they've seen, and I don't blame them. And ooh, I'm not sure you can get fooled worse than that. It's 0 and 1. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Duffy into the windup, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. It's been a low scoring affair. Three to nothing our score as we show you the numbers for our two starters to this point in the contest. Dexter Fowler gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Slapped hard the opposite way. But taken in over at first for the second out as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. 
Now with the plate, Jason Hayward. He singled his last time up. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Lifted in the air out to center field. Kane is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Cubs are down in order, but they lead it 3 0. Eric Hosmer is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench, ready to lead it off in the ninth. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. The pitch count, you ask, right at 100 now but I think this is still a game that he can finish off no doubt about it that's over but low it's a ball and a strike ready to deal here's the one one and he takes one off the inside corner for ball two you got to think one thing here get on base a walk will do the trick and he fires a fastball now for a called strike two a pretty dangerous spot for that one I don't think it was by design it's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Can't ask for much more out of a starting pitcher. Working on a two-hit shutout right now. Alcides Escobar will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Board the line in right. In there, a base hit. Yeah, this one looked like one of EK's four irons. He just kind of shanks this thing right down the right field line, but he manages to drop it just inside the chalk line, and that's a thing of beauty. Into the box now, Paulo Orlando. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. And the Royals have cut it to one. It's now a three-to-two score. Well, this guy had settled in and was just cruising along until this point, working carefree on that 3 nothing lead. But one slip here, and it's going to cost him. Now, all of a sudden, that lead shrinks down to just a single run. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And I believe that's going to be all for John Lester. Hector Rondon is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Here's Kendry's Morales. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Rondon looks in. Here's the 0-1. And it's quickly 0-2. Bases are empty, one man out. Another one sent foul. And he missed with it. It's one and two.
Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And that gets through for a one out base hit. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right there. In now is Lorenzo Cain, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in the strike. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. How about it? Alex Gordon Alex. comes to the plate now with the tying run at first, so he'll be looking to drive a ball into the gap here. He pulls this one into right. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Morales will take a big turn and head for the plate. And the tying run is in to score all the way from first. Wow. I mean, they're down to their final out. Things are looking pretty bleak. And then Wama, that's a huge at bat right here as he's going to tie the game here with that triple. And oh, how the tide has turned with just one swing of the bat. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. That's not a bad idea right there. Take a pitch. Make sure you get a good look at him and what he's throwing. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Soler is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that potential go-ahead run at third base. So not a good turn of events for this home crowd as now their ninth inning lead has evaporated. Part of the order three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. And we are all tied at three apiece. Wade Davis comes on now trying to keep this ball game tied. Number 17. Anthony Rizzo will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely one of the better hitters in this lineup, and that's why he's in the middle of the order. He just hasn't been able to get it going today. It happens. Hit sharply toward the right side. Well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. Ben Zobris will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Well, guys, it just hasn't been his day. You know, sometimes cleanup hitters are sort of all-or-nothing type hitters. But, hey, he's still got a chance to make an impact on this game right now. Kane calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Stepping in, Chris Bryant. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, and it's 0-1. And, and, guys, this has been just what the doctor ordered out of the bullpen. Yeah, they needed him to come in and give him a strong inning, and he's done exactly that. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 and 2 now. Ready with the 0 2. Down the third baseline. But uh, this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. Chopped at the plate. That winds up foul. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Hit hard, but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. So they can't get that winning run home, and that means free baseball here this afternoon. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the 10th, and we are all tied at three apiece. Mike Moustakis will come on now to start things out in the 10th, and you have to figure the momentum is squarely on their side after the manner in which that ninth inning went down. 
Yeah, just a great comeback to tie the game in the top of the ninth, followed by putting up a zero in the bottom half. This is a ball club that just won't quit out there. They're going to keep fighting until the last out. Adam Warren will come on now as he'll take over to start the extra frames. Adam Warren. Now playing third base. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Mm, got him out of his front foot. It's 0-2. One thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches, and he's going to use all of them. And a check swing here. They'll point down to the third base umpire, but no swing on that one. It's ball one. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's the one and two delivery. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. On the ground near home. That's foul, so the battle will continue. Just finding a way to stay alive up there. Hit in the air out to right. Hayward giving chase. Makes the play one away. The batter number 14. Omar Infante stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Swung on and chopped up the middle, gloved by Russell. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. If you're wondering what the Royals have remaining on their bench, there you go. We'll see if they want to do something here. Gerard Dyson will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Jared Dyson. Grounded back up the middle. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. A chance to win it now as we head to the bottom of the tenth. Still tied. Joaquin Soria will come on here to start the home 10th, and all he's looking to do is get this one to the 11th inning. Jorge Soler gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Jorge Soler. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Just a touch outside. One and two. All right, so he sort of wasted one up right there. Now I think we'll see a breaking ball down in the zone, trying to get him to swing and miss. And he is down on strikes again so get your hats out that's the third strike out of the game Miguel Montero ready for another at bat now he's two for three so far yeah and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step here's the 0 1 pitch Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. One out, nobody on. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. There you go. Now that potential winning run is on at first base. I don't think they'll try to butt him over here either. Not with one out already. They'll be open for a gapper to try and end this right here, right now. From the stretch. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kane has it in his tracks. Two down. At the plate, Javier Baez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Javier Baez. Good fastball there from Soria. It's 0-1. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Orlando over to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Cubs strand one. Still tied 3-3. Alcides Escobar comes to the plate as the leadoff man here in the 11th inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Chopped in front of home plate. Montero scoops it up. Throw on to first in time, one away. Paulo Orlando will stand in yet again, and as he does, we flash you back to inning number nine as this was the big blow. A two run shot that helped get us to this point here in the extra frames. Bases are empty, one man out. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two-seamer to right-handed hitters, make sure that pitch gets inside instead of staying out over the plate. That one ran just a little too much to catch the corner. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer that at three and two. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. Kendry's Morales digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. In for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Still two and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Two and two count. Here it comes. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Hayward. Out of here. She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year as they take the lead four to three. Boy, I want you to check out the location of where this pitch is in the strike zone. It's up and it's right down the middle. I, I mean, maybe you get away with that to a 220 hitting backup catcher, but not to a guy like this. Lorenzo Kane is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Well, he goes right back to that same pitch that he just gave up a home run on. Put it in another dangerous location, too. Lucky he got away with that one. Fly ball heading for the alley. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. The left fielder, number four. Alex Gordon takes his turn now, looking to add some insurance to their lead in the form of that run standing out at second base. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And a good-looking swing there from Gordon, but he can't come up with it, and it's 0-2 now. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. A run on two hits, and they leave one. 
One last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th now. It's the Royals four and the Cubbies three. Dexter Fowler will come forward now trying to at least get on base with his guys down to run here in extra innings. Dexter. I don't think you really need to be swinging for the fences just yet. You just need to find a way to get some guys on base and get that conveyor belt rolling. After it is Kane. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Jason Hayward will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Hits this one hard the other way. Played on the backhand. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Anthony Rizzo digs in now after lining out in his last try. Well, he hit it hard. He just kind of got unlucky with the placement, so you can't ask for much more. You just got to try to go up there and barrel it up again. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate on fire. Tapped out in front of home. Perez going to have to hurry on to first, and that'll be a bitter pill to swallow for this home crowd as the ball game is over. Well, maybe it took them a couple more innings than they had hoped, but a win's a win, and they get a good one here on the road in 11 innings. Time for one last check of the line score in this extra innings victory. A tightly contested ball game here, so it makes it hard to find our top player of the game, but I think this fellow right here would seem to be the logical choice. Yeah, no question he was a tough out up there. You see the three hits, including a home run. Without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. The Royals come out on top, 4-3. to three. So long from Wrigleyville. A reminder that extra southbound CTA redline trains will be available at the Addison Street Station, one block east of Wrigley Field. Northbound passengers are asked to board at the Sheridan Station. Post-game bus service will also be available on the 8 Halstead, 22 Clark, 152 Addison, and the 154 Wrigley Field Express routes.
back to left field. Pilar at the wall, at the track, jumps in. Oh, no, he didn't. Five. No, he did. He's got it. Oh, Two it all, Kevin. What a terrific catch. He brings it back in the ballpark. That is one of the finest catches I have ever